Do you think that there's going to be a potential in the future of the Department of Public Safety or HPD, either employees or inmates, suing based on the conditions due to COVID-19? Well, not only is there a potential, uh, I got a call today from an inmate who was just released. He was released to go to a Salvation Army program. When he got to that program, he felt ill. He told the program people that he was ill. They called an ambulance and took him to Queens. He was tested there, but Queens would not keep him because they said they don't have bed space. They just put him on the street. The program wouldn't take him back. So he went to stay in a hotel and he was notifi notified the following day, yesterday, that he is positive. So he called Queens and said, I don't have any place to stay. I can't go back to my program. I can't go back to prison. I can't go to my home with my family. I'm supposed to be in a program. And Queen says, we don't have bed space. We won't take you back. So he's stuck in a hotel with nobody to help him. He also described to me the circumstances at OCC as to how he was exposed. And his description is just horrendous. It's not just negligence. Uh, it's recklessness. So, you know, once I can get him hopefully to a medical facility to be taken care of, I am going to sue them for damages because I think they've been long time on notice uh, of the risks. They've addressed the risks in a very sloppy uh, manner, if at all. And I think that we are now at very grave danger. Not only are there going to be several hundred people in the facility who are going to be tested positive. There are going to be staff who've been coming and going from that facility into our communities who are carrying the illness. My belief is that the prison is very likely to cause thousands, if not tens of thousands of people to get sick. And that's based upon uh, warnings that were given to them. I was involved in the first go round with the litigation. I represented a, a number of mainland and local experts who predicted accurately how this would happen and how it would grow. And we're literally begging the prison system and the state and the courts to implement proper procedures to prevent what is happening today. They refused to do that. They were on notice. Uh, my belief is that this is the worst possible outbreak that could occur. Perhaps the second worst would be in the schools. And it's going to infect tens if not hundreds of thousands of people and many people are going to die.